Universal Studios Orlando has officially released their 2023 Military Freedom Pass. So stick around, we're gonna go over all those details today, including the pricing and how to plan your trip. Hey everybody, it's Laura with Salute the Magic back with a brand new video. We promise to keep you informed. It is now official. Universal Studios in Orlando has renewed their Military Freedom Pass for 2023. As you can see, those tickets are now valid and active on their website from today, November 10th, 2022, and they are available through December 24th, 2023. You can also purchase those tickets all the way through December 20th, 2023. A little overview of those tickets, unlike the previous past two years, when you could visit the parks any day of the year, they have now implemented some blockout dates of December 26, 2022 through January 1st, 2023, and April 3rd through April 9th of 2023. You can choose from two park or three park options, and eligible service members can purchase and activate up to six tickets. You must present a valid U.S. military photo ID at any Universal Orlando theme park front gate ticket window in order to activate those tickets. Some additional rules, these passes are good all year long with the exception of blockout dates. This does exclude separately ticketed events and any normal AP perks of free parking and food and merch discounts. These tickets are non-transferable and must be used by the same person on all days. And do keep note of the fact that Universal's website does also mention there are additional restrictions that may apply and benefits are subject to change without notice. Taking a look at the pricing, the two park military pass entitles one guest admission to the Universal Studios Florida and Universal Islands of Adventure Park on the same day, allowing you to park hop. That ticket is coming in at $200 for adults with it being $5 cheaper for children. The other option is the three park military freedom pass, which entitles one guest admission to the Universal Studios Florida, Islands of Adventure, and Volcano Bay. That ticket is coming in at $235, with it being $5 cheaper for children. Our advice is, even if you don't know if you'll ever go and visit the water park, I would go ahead and purchase it because simply the fact that it's only $35 extra for that ticket to use all year long. If you take a look at the pricing for Volcano Bay for just one ticket for one day alone costs you $80. So it's a great deal to just go ahead and buy that three park pass. That's what we always do. Taking a look at the eligibility per Universal's website, active duty, army, navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guard, National Guard, Reservists, and their spouses, retired military service members and their spouses, and Department of Defense civilians. Now let's just back up for a second and go back and look. Universal does make a point of saying, and spouses. There is a reason for that, and everyone needs to take note. Besides the pricing, this is one of the biggest differences between Universal and Disney's military discounts, is the eligibility. If you've watched our other videos on the Disney Military Salute discount, you know that Disney only allows six tickets per eligible member. If you haven't watched that video, I'm going to go ahead and link it in the description down below. However, Universal allows six tickets to the service member plus an additional six to the spouse, which means that gives you 12 tickets for your entire family if you qualify. This is not only an amazing benefit for larger families, but it also gives smaller families like ours more options and opportunities to bring along friends and families on our vacations. Yes, that's right, vacations, as in plural, because these tickets are passes and can be used any day with the exception of blockout dates. And unlike Disney, both the member and the spouse have their own eligibility, giving you up to 12 tickets per family. So listen to me when I say run, don't walk, run to buy these passes today especially if you know you do plan to visit Universal multiple times next year. However, vice versa, if you are planning to only go once, I would encourage you to compare the prices of the passes versus buying tickets for just a trip. You may still end up saving a lot of money by still buying those passes. And speaking of buying, these tickets are not available for purchase at Universal Gates. You must buy these through your base ticketing office or through your travel agent as part of a package. And yes, that's right. That's another perk is that you are able to bundle these tickets into a package when you book through your travel agent. Call your travel agent for additional details. 
And finally, like Disney, Universal does offer special pricing for the military on their resort hotels. For which hotels and pricing, you will need to contact your base ticketing office, your travel agent, or you may call 1-877-801-9720. Now, we're going to share one of our little secrets with you. Our advice is to stay at one of Universal's premium resorts, such as Sapphire Falls, Royal Pacific, Hard Rock, or Portofino Bay, as these are the premium resorts. Now you're probably saying, Laura, why would I stay there? Those are more expensive. I could save money staying at one of the more cheaper resorts. Well, this is why. The resorts come at no extra charge with the Universal Express Pass Unlimited. That Express Pass Unlimited allows you to skip all the regular lines at most of your favorite attractions unlimited times a day. This Express Pass can start at $109 per person per day and can vary in pricing depending on the time of the year. So for example, one time we were there at Christmas, we saw that Express Pass get as high as $300 per person. And if you have a family of four, you do the math. That can add up really quick. Essentially, that is why we recommend staying at a premium resort. Because yes, you might pay some premium prices, but if you combine that with the military discount, the Freedom Pass, and the fact that you get the Unlimited Express Pass free of charge, it really is a bang for your buck. So that's just a little bit of advice from us on ways to maximize your dollar. Again, every family is different, so it may be that staying at a cheaper resort or even staying off-site would be a better deal for you even combining with the Freedom Pass and buying the Unlimited Pass outright. So our advice is do your research and find those deals. Okay, so that is it for the Universal Freedom Pass for 2023. Amazingly, the prices for these tickets stayed the same as last year. However, they did implement the block out dates. It will be interesting to see if they continue that in future years. Regardless, this is still an amazing deal for the military. As always, we are so thankful to Universal for honoring us. We hope you found this video informative. Please make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, make sure you're following along with us on our social media as we also post updates there as well and we plan to keep you informed on any and all future deals and discounts for the military. Thank you so much for watching. We salute you and we'll see you in the next video.